Welcome to the Summit School District Spotlight. My name is Mickey Grebitz. I am the communication specialist for the district, and today we'll be talking about the state of the district. We're in a new location this morning, and we're in the newly renovated entryway of Summit High School, which is really exciting and just beautiful. So stay with us. Welcome back to the Summit School District Spotlight. Again, I am Mickey Grebitz, Communication Specialist for the District, and I am joined with Carrie Bueller, Superintendent. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Today we'll be talking about the state of the district. So the school year just started this year, which is yes. really exciting. The students have been back for about three weeks mm -hmm. or so. So the schools are just back to life and students and teachers are back. It's just wonderful. What were you excited for this school year? You know, the start of the school year is always um, filled with a lot of excitement and a little bit of um, nervous energy around is everything that we've been setting up the school year to be going to happen for our students. Um, certainly parents are very excited to put their children back to school and we're excited that kids are filling our hallways and our classrooms and that learning is really the focus. Um, lots of great energy as we started the school year. We started with our secondary schools and then our elementary, our kindergarten, our preschool and boy, they are off to a great start. That's just wonderful. I just, I love having the energy of the students yes. back. And um, I think the students are excited to be back too. You know, they reconnect with old mm -hmm. friends, they meet their new teachers. And in the last couple of years, students have been excited to come back and see yes. the updates to the building. Mm -hmm. um, this year, they didn't actually see too many updates. <laughs> Um, can you talk about you know what we sure. did this summer? So we are just rounding out our third year of our bond project. Um, our Summit County community supported a, a big bond and a big mill levy in order to renovate our buildings, to fill it with the latest technology, the latest learning environments, and we are really about wrapped up with our bond projects. Mm -hmm. So this summer we really focused on um, actually the high school roof, getting that finished. That'll be about a three year more uh, length of project um, as roofs are very expensive and they take a long time to repair. Um, we have been working on the um, uh, out at the um, you know, the facility out at the, the stadium field the house. Stadium, yes. Thank you. And um, you know, that was in pretty bad disrepair. So mm -hmm. we replaced all of the restrooms, all of the, you know, basically gutted it and started over. So it's beautiful, ready for all of those football players that have been in there the last couple of weeks. Go Tigers. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, additionally, we, we worked on Alpensee Road. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of a long project of trying to make sure that we were being sensitive to the community, um, mm -hmm. but also knowing Knowing that we need to flow traffic around here, especially as new students come. Um, we know that our kids have been moving through our schools. That's why we added classrooms to our middle school and high school, and those spaces are all finished. Actually, we even finished up one last project, the maker space here at the high school. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. So if you ever get a chance to come by, people should and take a tour. Oh yeah. So students didn't really get to see the new exciting media yes. center updates that have happened in the last couple of years. You know, there was electrical, HVAC, plumbing, like you said, the roofs. Yes. So, you know, all those critical maintenance that needed to be done to our buildings that we completed this summer. And, yes, um, and safety and security. Yes. That's probably the other thing that we did do a lot of work on this summer in terms of mm -hmm. making sure that all our vestibules were the way that we, we needed them to work. We're using something called the Raptor system. At mm -hmm. the high school this year, we wrote a grant, um, a safety grant that really allows us to have a little more um, supervision about who comes in mm -hmm. and out of our buildings. And so we're piloting that system here at the high school. You'll have to present your driver's license yep. and of course we welcome visitors and welcome people we want to make sure our kids are safe. Um, we're working on our PA systems and how they're connected to all of our security systems mm -hmm. and so um, that is very complicated and that has really been two years in the making and we're almost there. Yeah. So there's been so many safety and security updates and one yes. of our top priorities here is safety of yes. our staff and students and um, so we have new secure vestibules at mm -hmm. every school, yes. you know, the updated camera systems, the PA systems, other communication systems. So that has been a big project mm -hmm. that has um, just about wrapped up for the year. And um, just so many really exciting things going on. And so the foundation for a lot of these um, projects that we're doing is our strategic master plan, Vision yes. 2020. Um, Vision 2020 is a three part you know, roadmap yes. for Summit School District, which includes 
um, developing caring learners, empowering student-centered success, and championing or championing student success and empowering student-centered learning. Yes. Excuse me. And um, so this year, the Summit School District will focus on developing caring learners mm -hmm. this year in our classrooms. Now, of course, like? we're always focusing on everything. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that's really important is that we want to make sure that when we talk about developing caring learners, we're really talking about um, social emotional learning. So that's really a big focus for us this year in terms of helping our staff to have what they need, building their capacity around meeting the needs of kids and making sure our students have what they need. We live in a community where there are lots of resources. and mm -hmm. so. So we're really lucky. We have a professional development day coming up at the end of September for all of our staff and that will be a day filled with learning in order to better meet the needs of our kids mm -hmm. but it's not just a one-shot deal. It's mm -hmm. what's going to happen over the school year so that um, every day in classrooms, every day in beautiful spaces like this, in the lunchroom, on the bus, all of those things are being um, cared for really mm -hmm. and at the heart of it is of course our kids mm -hmm. and so you know when we talk about developing caring learners that's really one of our tenants um, championing championing student success mm -hmm. so hard to yeah. say but we are focused of course on kids learning growing mm -hmm. achieving um, and so last year was our first year in our curriculum cycle for math this will be year two um, we did adopt some new curricular mm -hmm. materials at the heart of that though really is what are those best instructional practices mm -hmm. what are the standards that um, we expect our kids to um, be able to master mm -hmm. and then how do they demonstrate that and then um, this year is our first year in our English language arts mm -hmm. curriculum cycle which is a huge endeavor um, we're talking about reading writing communicating speaking listening everything that you can imagine that makes uh, kids successful in their learning mm -hmm. and so year one is really developing that team that will work at this we've actually included a couple of parents this year and we're in the process of selecting those parents that will help us. Lots of great interest out there, which yeah. has been helpful. And then um, that'll be almost, well, our cycle is really three years. Mm -hmm. You can't do this quickly. In the meantime, though, we are focusing on those instructional best practices and really what are those standards that kids need to meet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just really exciting to see, you know, the school district partnering with um, content experts and families yes. and, you know, really finding a curriculum that will fit and um, really championing the student success for our students. Exactly. So the other thing when you think about Vision 2020, obviously uh, this is the 1920 school year, mm -hmm. so 2020 is here. Yes. Um, and obviously that was a tagline for a lot of people in the world of education and business of thinking about, wow, 2020 seemed like a long way off. Well, mm -hmm. it's here. Yeah. And so um, we did work on Vision 2020 version two. Yeah. I think we'll come up with something catchier than version three um, and really think about what are those um, areas that we need to focus on and what our work will be. And obviously it, it's, not just identifying those tenants, it's not just identifying um, what's most important, but then how are you going to do it? So it's really those um, development plans that involve really our community, all of our stakeholders, our you know administration and our leadership, but then of course teachers mm -hmm. in the classroom, boots on the ground, and of course our our kids. Mm -hmm. The other thing we've done is we've done some restructuring centrally mm -hmm. and in order to do that we've you know really had to take a look at where are our priorities, mm -hmm. what is it that we want to focus on and then who's got the strengths to really build that for us. Mm -hmm. um, we can do some great work but it does take some manpower so we appreciate um, the support that we've had in the community. Mm -hmm. One of the things that has also helped us is our mill levy dollars that are ongoing. Yeah. So um, with the mill levy it's um, the general technology, capital construction, mill levy, longest, yeah. Yeah, longest you know, tagline <laughs> ever. And um, that's $1.8 million that really gives us the ability to continue to replace technology mm -hmm. as it's outdated or students need new devices or staff. Mm -hmm. um, and then also it helps us to keep on top of those critical maintenance mm -hmm. um, needs in our buildings. For example, we've replaced lots of HVAC systems and yeah. we have more that need replacing. Yeah. We have roofs that every year there's something that we need to do differently. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, our community has really supported that. There is an election coming up and um, we'll be sharing. We've shared out a, a fact sheet and, in fact, we'll post that for everybody on our website um, about the mill levy that we're hoping to continue. It used to be kindergarten that mm -hmm. it supported. Yeah. Um, our great 
state is now funding full day kindergarten really um, for all of the children of Colorado. Of course, in the in the wonderful county of Summit, mm -hmm. um, people did that long ago. Yeah. Um, in fact, in 2007. So what we're going to ask voters for is um, to be able to continue um, collecting those dollars and really with a focus on retaining, mm -hmm. um, attracting and retaining quality staff teachers, bus drivers, food service workers, everything that we need to run a successful school district, as well as um, mental also, health supports. Yeah, mental health supports, yeah. and specifically at the elementary level, mm -hmm. knowing that if we get them early and do what they need, um, hopefully we'll have healthy um, kids go through our system yeah. and into the world. Yeah. And so you were talking about the mill levy. The, yes. One of the last um, yes. really exciting things about the mill levy that's just about to start mm -hmm. is the professional development building for staff and for professional development yes. to kind of host it all in one place. So as that. we've grown as a district, um, we really don't have the space in order to really provide um, professional development. Mm -hmm. We kind of make sure that we find spaces all over the place. And of course, we have beautiful buildings like yes. this. But um, we need a space really where we can bring everybody together and do that. Mm -hmm. And so through our mill every dollars and the fact that we've had the bond and been able to do a lot of the deficiency work, we have a little bit of money mm -hmm. to be able to do this. Really, it's one big building with a few spaces broken up yep. in there. Um, that we'll be able to do that. And we're really hoping too that the community can make use of that. Of course, mm -hmm. we, we rent out our facilities at a very reasonable price if people would like to come. Also, um, the Colorado Department of Education really likes our location mm -hmm. for people from surrounding areas to be able to come. We'll be able to host some of those trainings yeah. as well now. So this should be finished starting next school year. Which so is really this, exciting. We'll see some things being um, put out on there on the dirt and start digging. Yeah, so that'll be out at the middle school yes. administration campus. Yes. So that'll be really exciting. Real central place for With you know, a beautiful all the staff lake to be. view. It's beautiful. <laughs> and um, so you mentioned the election. We're also yes. having a board election this yes. year. Yes. Yes. So we have um, four board members that won't be continuing this year. Some are term limited. Yeah. Some are going on to other endeavors. Really exciting. And um, so we have seven members and four um, will be um, leaving us. And yeah. so we have 11 people that have thrown their hat in the ring yeah. and we're super excited to um, welcome who the voters choose mm -hmm. as their four elected um, school board members. Important job, um, you don't get paid, but we give lots of hugs and lots of um, kudos for the great work that they do because without them, work. we couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, and these people do, they, they care deeply about our kids, mm -hmm. our schools and about the future. And so um, get out there and vote. Yes. Well, thank you, Carrie, for joining me today thank and you, giving us an update on the district. And thank, thanks to you, Summit County voters, for yes. supporting the school district and continuing to help us. Um, if you would like to learn any more information about board elections or any other information yes. about the school district, please visit our website, summitk12.org. Thank you. Thanks. Great job. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>